Hey guys, today I'm gonna do a no bullshit honest review on the new CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. I have seen a lot of really good things about this, frankly, and I wanna know if it lives up to the hype of those things. So I'm gonna give it a test today. I'm going to apply it to my face, and then I'm gonna come back and I'll do check-ins throughout the day to let you guys know how it holds up, how it works on my skin, etc. So it says here, it is a foundation with vitamins plus endolizone sunscreen. Broad spectrum SPF 20. I have the color 710 here and I'm excited to give this a shot. In the past, CoverGirl foundations that I like, I love the CoverGirl 2-in-1 with the blue lid. I really liked that foundation back in the day. Not that I don't like it now, I just kind of moved on, you know how things work. I wanna give this a shot, again, because I've heard nothing but good things and I'm excited to give it a try. So it says here that it's a lightweight, full coverage makeup. I don't like the word makeup. Lightweight, full coverage makeup. This formula hydrates and includes a complex of SPF 20 vitamins and an antioxidant, and it's oil free. So I'm going to apply it with a beauty blender on half of my face. Well, actually, the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I'll try it with a brush on the other side, then I'll do my normal concealer routine, set it with a powder, and then I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup, and then I'll let you guys know how it wears throughout the day, and Etc. I think I already said all of this. So my skin type, I would say I have normal skin. I get sometimes a little bit oily in my T-zone, but I also have dry patches. So honestly, I'm kind of like combination everything. But right now I'm relatively normal. My skin is doing pretty well at the moment. I don't have any active breakouts or anything. I do have some redness down here. Always have, always will. So I'm just going to get to applying the foundation. All right, so this is the foundation here and I'm just gonna do a couple of pumps. Huh, okay, so that was three pumps, not a couple. And I got a bunch of it on my nose. Okay. It smells very fresh and clean, which I really like. So on this side of my face, I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender. This side, I'm gonna use the brush. I don't use primer. I don't believe in it. it smells so good. looks really nice so far. So far that looks really good. I'm really, really liking that. So that's how it covered. And this is how much I have left on my hand out of the three pumps. And I'd say that's about a pump. So it took about two on this side of my face. Finish is really pretty. The finish is very healthy looking and slightly radiant. It's definitely not matte. I'm gonna apply a little bit more down here just in my really red area and see how it builds. Builds really nice actually. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it was lifting up the product at all. It's starting to set down a little bit and become a little less radiant, but still it looks really natural and healthy. My skin just looks really healthy on this side and it doesn't look like I'm wearing a shitload of foundation. For the brush side, I'm gonna go with my Furless Cosmetics CB3 brush and I'm just gonna try. They look relatively similar actually. I like the way it looks on my sponge side better, so I'm gonna switch back over to the sponge, tap it in. I also feel like I got better coverage with the sponge. Yeah, for sure. For sure better coverage with the sponge. So I'd say for my face, it took about four pumps of foundation total because that's how much I have left on my hand afterwards. I do feel like it's oxidizing a little bit. It's not horrible, but it's just a teeny little bit. Yeah, my skin looks really nice. I really understand what they mean when they say healthy elixir. I feel like my skin looks so healthy right now and just fresh and radiant. Dang. I am going to apply some concealer and for that I'm gonna use the NYX HD concealer and I'm going to set that with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And I don't know if, I don't think I'm gonna set the rest of my face. I'm just gonna kind of set around the areas that I always set. I always set specific areas of my face. So I think it's only fair to set those same areas today because I know what my foundation looks like after a long day of wearing it when I do this to myself. So. We shall see. The specific areas of my face I always set are kind of like my smile lines right here. 
a little bit over my chin and on the sides of my nose. Okay, so this is the foundation applied with my concealer and everything on. I'm gonna go do the rest of my face, my brows, tutorial, everything like that. And then I will be back to show you guys the final makeup look and then I will check in throughout the day and let you guys know how things are looking. So I'm gonna show you a close up of the foundation right now so you can see how it changes throughout the day. So it did crease a little bit here in my, this. All right, I'm gonna go apply the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. All right, I've got the rest of my makeup on and I just filmed a NYX first impression, basically trying out their new launches that they just came out with and you guys definitely have to watch that video. It's either up before this or it's up after this. I don't know, we'll see. But if it's up before this, I'll link it up here. If it's not, well then just subscribe and then you'll know when it's up. All right, so I am going to go run my errands, do my shit, check in throughout the day and I will let you guys know how this foundation is holding up. I'm actually liking the way everything looks right now. I think everything looks pretty freaking flawless. My eyeshadow did not turn out as blended as I wanted it to, but honestly, I was just struggling today. It has nothing to do with the products, it's it's me. And I'm gonna go run to the bank and do a bunch of errands and go freaking eat because I have not eaten yet today. And we'll see how this lip product holds up through some food. And I will see you guys in a couple of hours. Okay, so it is about 9.30 at night right now. When I got done filming earlier, it was about one. I totally forgot to show you guys my phone. <laughs> So it was about one o'clock when I got done earlier and now it has been about eight and a half hours. So I have not even looked in the mirror today. I've literally just been editing and working on the computer and getting shit ready all day long. It looks great. It looks really, really good. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and show you. The only area I'm not like super stoked about is my nose. Looks a little bit cakey on my nose. My nose is a little bitch. It's always been a little bitch and it always will be a little bitch. For some reason, it doesn't like to hold foundation. It's just a piece of shit and I don't know why. I did have a little bit of foundation breakup right here. But after eight hours of wear, Not bad. Overall, I think it's really good, but my under eyes look a little weird. They look, look oddly too white. I think, I don't know, it's like the rest of my face kind of oxidized or I don't know what's going on. <sighs> I'm tired and I have a slight headache and I'm just ready to go to bed. So my overall thoughts are that I honestly think this is really good. I mean, I've loved CoverGirl foundations in the past, especially that three in one. I actually got a couple of my friends to just like be obsessed with that. They still use it to this day and it was probably like three years ago I recommended it to them. So tells you how good it is. And this one's really nice. It's inexpensive. It smells really good. It's got SPF in it. The coverage is beautiful my skin looks awesome after this length of time and i have been sweating like right now i'm sweating but you can't really tell it's been hot as dick in my house today i even went and like watered the flowers and stuff today out in the sunshine and it held up so i'm very pleasantly surprised with the way that this looks i'm super stoked about it so if you guys are looking for a good drugstore foundation this one so far first impression I'm really digging it. It's kind of hard for me to say, you know, some people are a little bit better of a judge of foundation, but you know, that's the thing about foundation reviews is that what one person likes, I might not because our skin type is totally different. So for me with relatively normal combo skin, this works for me. I haven't gotten super oily. My nose has held up. Everything looks relatively like what it should look like after eight and a half hours of wearing makeup. I'm actually quite surprised and very pleasantly so. All right, and that is the finished review. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was somewhat helpful for you. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not yet. I put out new videos pretty much every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes even an extra one. Who knows if I'm feeling up for it. Also, you guys can follow me on all my other social media stuff. Everything is Rob Beauty Christie, same as it's spelled here. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you at my next video. Bye! Hey guys, today I'm going to do a foundation review for you on the... Hey guys, today I'm going to do a no bullshit honest review foundation re review after I wet my sponge. BRB. I wonder if I'll ever do a video where I wet my sponge before I sit down. It's got hair in my eye. A couple of pumps. Maybe not. I have to unlock it. There's fucking cat hair in my eye. All right, guys, now, uh, I, that's the thing about foundation review. Foundation, I always say foundation. My nose has hold, hold up. My lips look dry as a dick though.